welcome back to Skin Uni. In the last episode, we were talking about the epidermis. Let's climb down into the dermis. Shall we? Because it's where important things exist like collagen and hyaluronic acid. Ah. Ah. When we get down here, things get pretty complicated. Be prepared, you might want to watch this again. The first thing you want to note is that the dermis has two regions. It is composed of connective tissue, blood vessels, sweat glands, nerves, hair follicles. All these things need a blood supply. That's why this layer is vascularized, meaning it has a blood supply. Elastin and collagen are both proteins that give this layer of the skin its structure. Proteins are made from amino acids. Elastin is a protein. It makes up about 2 to 4% of the dermis, and it's responsible for giving the skin flexibility. Collagen gets the award for being the main structural protein of the dermis. It makes up about 70% of the dermal structure and properties. They have identified about 20 different types of collagen fibers. Collagen formation begins with pro-collagen and from there things get pretty complicated. Which, you're going to start to learn means, gets its own video. So, let's start our climb down. Bing, 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 bing. We arrive down here to the papillary region. This is one-fifth of the dermis. It is considered areole connective tissue, which is interesting because it means it's a type of tissue that is not as tightly packed. It is composed of thinner collagen and elastin fibers in a semi-fluid groundwork. Here you will find something called dermal papillae. These are finger-like projections that project up into the epidermis. Now, something that took me a, an entire Saturday night to kind of understand is something called glycosaminoglycans. Say that three times fast. I can't even remember how to say it. One time. The most famous one? Wait for it. Wait for it. You might have heard of it. Hyaluronic acid. For my nurses out there, heparin is also a glycosaminoglycan. The role of these guys in the dermis is that they provide a hospitable environment with lubrication, structure, water binding capacity, and just an overall cushy place to be. Now, let's climb down to the reticular region. When we get down here, we will notice that it is densely packed. And when I mean dense, I mean dense. As we hike through the reticular region, we will be stepping by blood vessels, over sweat glands, and around hair follicles. Obviously, this is just an overview of the dermis, but if you ever wonder where collagen exists, now you know. Join us next time. Bye!